Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, I'll be showing you how to determine the concentration of the acid solution and the theoretical title value for the volumetric analysis of the 2023 Wire Chemistry Practical Alternative B. Alright, let's start. In the Alternative B instruction released by Wire, the volumetric analysis will also involve an acid based titration, which is between hydrochloric acid HCl and sodium hydroxide. This one is a bit more straightforward than what was given in alternative, right? Now, the acid to be used is about 36% assay, right? And it has a specific gravity of 1.18 grams per cm cube. Like we told in a similar video for alternative A, the specific gravity ranges between 1.18 to 1.2, right? Grams per cm cube. And the assay of the HCl is more or less like the purity of the HCl. So it means that for every 100 cm cube of the stock acid solution, 36 cm cube is pure HCl and that's what you're going to use to determine the concentration of the acid. Then the volume of the stock HCl that will be diluting is 7.0 cm cube according to the instruction. Then the mass of the base, the base we'll be making use of here is sodium hydroxide, right? And the mass of the base is 3.2 grams. So we use the mass of the base and the molar mass of the base, right? To determine the number of moles which will now divide by uh, 1 dm cube to give us the concentration of the base in moles per dm cube right now was to prepare the base solution we'll be dissolving 3.2 grams of sodium hydroxide in one dm cube all right so let's see how to go about this mass of acl in stock solution be calculated as volume of ACL times specific gravity of ACL times the assay of the acid right then so you substitute this value so this will be 7.0 cm cube times 1.18 grams per cm cube then times 36 over 100 so what will this give us that gives us 2.97 grams 2.97 grams right that's 2.974 the problem is 2.97 grams right and this is the mass of the HCl that will be present in the 7 cm cube of the acid that will be diluting in 1 dm cube of water to prepare the acid solution, right? I will now get the concentration of the acid solution we'll be preparing from the dilution of 7 cm cube of the water stock acid. Let's see. Concentration in moles per dm cube of acid solution will be equal to concentration in grams per dm cube over molar mass right so based on what we've calculated it will be 2.97 0.97 grams per dm cube because when we dissolve the 7 cm cube of the acid in 1 dm cube of water that's the concentration in grams per dm cube that we we'll get that mass concentration right 2.97 grams per dm cube divided by molar mass of acl is 1 plus 35.5 grams per mole so this gives us 2.97 grams per dm cube all over 36.5 grams per mole and if we evaluate this that gives us 0 0.08137 mole per dm cube but approximately it should be 0 0.0813 or more per dm cube in three significant word figures so that gives us the concentration of the acid 
the most by DMQ. That would be the concentration of the acid you'll be working with, right? I mean, now that we know the concentration of the acid, right, I'm going to calculate concentration of the base and now use that to determine the tighter value, okay? Concentration in moles per DMQ of base that's of sodium hydroxide I'll be using the concentration in grams per DMQ divided by molar mass molar mass of sodium hydroxide of course so we are told to dissolve 3.2 grams of sodium hydroxide in um, water, right? So this will be 3.2 grams per right, dm cube divided by what's the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? That's 23 plus 16 plus 1 grams per mole. Now it's 40. So evaluating this. 3.2 grams per dm cube divided by 40 grams per mole. So this gives us 0 0.0800 mole per dm cube. So it means that the concentration of the acid and the base that we'll be working with are approximately 0 0.08 uh, moles per dm cube. And of course, it makes sense because we are working with a strong monobasic acid and a strong base, right? And the more ratio is one ratio one. So what the value is given since they have all, they have equal concentration. If they have equal concentration, then the tighter value of the acid will almost be equal to the tighter value of the base. So let's see whether that will be correct. All right. So now let's calculate the theoretical tighter value of the acid. I would love to divide my screen. To two. So here now, what was the concentration of the acid? The concentration of the acid is Ce. Based on the instruction given to us, the acid is to be labeled E and the base is to be labeled F. So take note, not A and B. So Ce is 0 0.0814 mole per dm cube. What the concentration of the base? Cf. Is 0 0.0800 mole per dm cube, right? The volume of the base VF will be based on the volume of the prepared, which the one commonly used is 25.00 cm cube, and the volume of the acid V is what we are looking for, which will be a tighter value. So, using RCE VE all over CF. Bf equals to Ne over Nf. Now, what's our equation of reaction here? Because I was a F, I e is the acid, and our F is the base. So, equation of reaction is HCl plus NaOH to give us NaCl plus H2. Very straightforward, right? Aqueous, 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 liquid. Fine. So, and the more ratio here is one ratio, what? One. One to one. So, if substituted into this, our formula here, that would be CEBE all over CFBF equals to one over one. So, we can easily say. That CEV since it's one ratio one equals to CF VF and a B E equal to CF VF divided by C E. So this will be my VF is what? 0 0.08 times VF is then 25 divided by C E 0 0.0814. So if we evaluate this, what would that give us? So that gives us 24.57 cm cube. So this gives us the theoretical data value for the volumetric analysis. 
of the acid base titration for alternative B. So that's what you should be expecting, right? But of course, like I always say, since you are not making use of the same grades of chemicals, it's not a must that you must get this, right? The only thing you need to do is ensure that what you're doing, your measurements are accurate, right? And you don't overshoot your endpoints, right? And whatever you obtain following the correct procedures, please use that. Have it together. Use that record that you give that to your students and let them use it, right? And this is only to serve as a guide 24.5. So you can see that it's almost close to 25 cm cube right it's almost close to 25 cm cube and why is that so because the concentration of the acid is a bit higher than the concentration of the base right it's not exactly the same as the concentration of the base that's why the volume of the acid needed to neutralize the base is a bit lower than that of the base right all right so that brings us to the end of this short tutorial on how to determine your title value for the voluntary analysis of the 2023 chemistry practical alternative b right now, if you had learned anything from this video, kindly subscribe to this channel if it's your first time here and give us a like and turn on your notification bell. Also, drop what you think about this method of determining the title value in the comment section. We want to read from you, right? And above all, don't forget to share this video to other teachers, right? Or other colleagues of yours that may need this. Are we together? All right, so until I come your way next time, stay blessed.